All right, welcome back. Today we're pouring drop shot baits. Doing two color laminates, and this time we're doing one with a bloodline, and we're doing one in a swirl cup. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. All right, so we got our colors up temp. There's a the black pearl. That'll be the main color of the leech and a drop shot worm. There's that red pearl. That's what's going to make a bloodline. Found a pearl stand out a lot better against each other. Pour some up and show you what I mean. We're going to do one strip right down the middle. That one's a little crooked. If you're new into pouring, I don't know if I'd recommend trying to do a open four bloodline. For a shot, you gotta practice somehow. I'm gonna pour the second color. Put it right on top of that line, try to get it to laminate a little better. I'm not talking much, but boy, I gotta concentrate on this. I'm trying to not even breathe on this plastic coming out. Okay, there's that one. Alright, let's take a look at these. I'd say that bloodline come out good. Looks like laminated well. It's not going to come apart. It's going to look real nice. This color was a special request from my fishing buddy, Dan Sutton. We talked about it at work today. Said he wanted some leeches. It was black with a red line in them, so... I'd say we did it. Yep. Them are all coming out good. So I think the plan is, I'm just going to pour these leeches this style. And when I get done, we're going to do the swirl cup on the dream shot style worms. I'll hold off on pouring any of them for right now. You tell me what fish isn't going to eat that. And let's go back to pouring some more of these. Plastic's good and hot. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
let's just get them out of the way for now. Give me a little more room anyhow. Get that on your cup, pull that off there. Anything hanging down like that's gonna cause a weird stream when you pour it. Okay, let them cool, pop them out. Probably do one more round of them. And I'm gonna put stuff in the swirl cup. So I told you my fishing buddy from work asked for this color. Send him a picture real quick, make sure it's uh up to his liking. See what he says about it. Alright, here's my split cup. Silicone, sealed all the way around with silicone. Now it doesn't matter middle of summer, middle of winter. You about got to preheat this cup because at room temperature you pour plastic in each side, it automatically starts to cool all the way around. You don't get near as efficient amount of pours out of it. So I'm gonna take the heat gun, heat this thing up good and hot, add the plastic to each side. And when I pour that out, that fertilized plastic will mix right here, swirls all over the place, and I'll show you how you can change up the amount of swirl you can get. You notice the only thing I'm really not heating up is this handle. Everything else? Yep, getting it good and warm. I'm going to take my red color and dump her in this side. Take the black, put it in here. Give her a shot. Practicing on this wide open mold first. And depending on how you tilt it, which way you're pouring, how much you shake it. Changes how much blending there is, how much red goes where, how much black goes where. You'll never pour the same two on purpose. And I gotta say with these pearl powders, this is the way to do it. Because the pearl never bleeds from one color to the next. It'll marble up real nice. So on this one we're going to do a whole lot more black. So I'm really going to tilt that. And I'm going to even it out. I 
Now this is one of the few times where you're not trying to go right down the middle. I'm giving it a real marbled look. With regular pigments, this is real tough. You've got to add so much color to each side. That in my opinion, it just doesn't look very good. But when you use these pearls, boy, it really pops. So while we got running, we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. Moving it the whole time. Oh, I gotta trim that one. Caught myself looking at the camera and said where I was born. <laughs> now we'll do some in real long strings. You'll see how the color changes. Personally, I like doing it real quick back and forth. Gives it a real marbled look. Heat this plastic back up and you can heat it up right in here. Uh, I wouldn't start from raw, but I've already got it warm. Everything's warm, so I'm just gonna keep heating it up. Well, I hope that light picks that up. I'll take some stills of this so you can really see how it stands out. Because I don't think the light that I got going on right now with my video camera is going to show it. Hang on for some stills. All right, I think them baits come out pretty good. If you want to see some of the other baits that I've poured, check them out right here. Uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, see the rest of the stuff I do, right there's a button you need to hit. Thanks again. Good luck on the water.